Rudman Naval Station. A uh, license was granted on May 19, 1932 to the Navy Department for construction of the first uh, West Bank Naval Facilities, U.S. Naval Station Rodman. Uh, construction on the piers and other facilities was completed around 1937. Rodman U.S. Naval Preservation encompassed at one time or another several naval holdings on the west bank of the Panama Canal, and that would be on the Pacific side, including an ordnance department, uh, the naval station itself, the marine barracks, the Lacona housing area, Camp Rousseau, and the Kokoli housing community. Rodman was turned over to the Republic of Panama on March 11th, 1999. Carfan is our first place to look at in Rodman. Uh, the U.S. Naval radio station Farfan was constructed on an 820-acre reservation in 1941-1942. Between 1947 and 1948, there were 78 units of family housing built on part of the reservation property. And it was at that point made an annex of Naval Station Rodman. And this is the area in here, the old Farfan housing project. Um, I was a reporter on this. And uh, throughout the study, we have um, uh, seen people that have reported that uh, housing areas that uh, backed up to, to jungle and so forth had uh, herbicides sprayed in the backyard and so forth. Um, so that, along with the fact that uh, this area was also mentioned in a, uh, uh, a study done in 1976, um, and it was um, Pesticide Monitoring Special Study Number 44-0102-77. And based on that and the location of this housing area, uh, I decided it should be included within our uh, uh, testing areas. And if we take, uh, before we uh, go to attachments, let me back out some and show you where the housing area is that we're looking at. Uh, in, in perspective, this is the Rodman Pier area and so forth. Okay, and Rodman also covered uh, uh, quite a bit of land going back in this direction. So if we come in a little more, I'm gonna go to the attachments. On our 1976 low resolution view, we're right in this area here. And as you can see, it was kept uh, pretty well clear in around the housing. And on uh, Canal Zone map fragment, the housing area is over here. The back end of it runs off the map a little bit. And again, the piers and so forth are up here. And um, this is an old photo of uh, the housing area. Um, and it was in a uh, pamphlet uh, talking about the legacy of uh, the Panama Canal Zone. And uh, this particular photo was taken by um, Graves and Klein Architects, uh, but the date is unknown. The next area is um, the old Arahan uh, tank farm. 
And this was uh, also considered part of Naval Station Rodman. And uh, this was reported by two individuals, Jeff Dixon and uh, Joe Lothink. And uh, Joe said that he worked at a Howard Air Force Base control tower transmitter receiver site that was within the tank farm here. And he said they were always doing all kinds of weed control in this area. Um, the tank farm was uh, built during the Second World War and uh, it was the Pacific side uh, terminus of the naval pipeline that ran across the isthmus with the Atlantic side being at uh, Gatun Tank Farm, which we talked about in one of the other videos in the series. And uh, if I pull out further here to give you the bearings and so forth, here's the tank farm on the current view, which is still cleared. And here is the old Rodman uh, Naval Station. I'm looking at our attachments, we can see, even though we have clouds here, we can still see in the 1969 low resolution view that that area where the tank farm is located was kept clear. The next area for uh, Rodman is located up in this area. And this whole, let me back out a little more. This whole area in here was a formal, former ordnance uh, storage area, ammo dumps. And um, as we've seen across the series and so forth, uh, most of the ammo dump areas were kept pretty clear of vegetation. And this is a current view, um, but you can still see that, uh, you know, many of the areas are still cleared out. There are some that appear to be uh, in use for other purposes at this time. Um, so I was a reporter and um, if we look at our 1969 low resolution view, you can see that the area we're looking at extends all through this area. And even though, you know, we've got a less detailed view, you can see that it was kept clear. I'd like to thank veteran Richard Wyman for putting together all of this information on possible places to test in the Panama Canal Zone. We are further than we have ever been before. We have a rulemaking request that's been granted by the VA Secretary. We have an HR 5026 bill for Panama introduced into the Congress.